Hey loves. So this is a part two. You may or may not have chosen to watch what did I call it? The the whiplash video. Um because it did turn out to be a bit dark and that's fine if you didn't. Every time you turn on a, your phone, enter a shop, read a magazine, a book, cards, drive down the street, you should be using your discernment. Is this good for me? Okay. Yeah, absolutely turn off. So I'm just feeling people leave the container. I just want to make sure you have enough time to... Okay, I love you too. Alright, so... Uh, these things never go as I plan and that's the kind of the point, I guess. The Omega. Oh. Okay, so <clears throat> this is a message because when I saw this, they said spirit calling, and this is a gift from spirit, and this is the Omega, and it's from a watch, a broken watch. The time is up. The Alpha and the Omega, the Creator, they said this, this, this is done. The time is up. The um, influence of the people who probably harbor entities from, you know, past lives that you don't even remember. It's all, it's all done. It, it's, I just heard it ends tonight. And even though it looks quite dark, it's, it's the middle of the day because when I drew the Merlin card in the last transmission, a storm hit and it's been raging for an uh, hour and a bit at this point. So this ends now. Thank you, Creator. And I also drew this, um, this full spectrum, the ancestors are here giving us the power, anchoring us into the um, into the earth star chakra. And this is the first time I've noticed she's on her knees. But even the plants, they're helping hold her. They're, the vines are going around her wrist. You, me, those of us who are on the path of unconditional love, we can't be shaken off. It can't be done. They're on their way down the drain. And as much as I have compassion for them and know that when we're in higher realms, there's not a them and us. We're in a realm of duality. And when I was given the choice, I dedicated myself to being of the heart and that is true alignment for me you'll do what you'll got to do um, <coughs> there is someone who may be watching who will understand crown cross dagger If you're on Hun, pay attention. And I brought in a angel of love, rose quartz. Soften the intensity and help me bring, help bring me back to who I am. Within all this storm, literally raging around me. 
literally raging around you metaf or metaphorically we are asked to stay calm to be peaceful even with the pain I'm in right now I'm actually happier than I have been in days because I know <clears throat> in this lifetime some of the people that this represents and I also know that to be that vicious you have to be hurting you have to be afraid and I'm so sorry that you chose the path that you chose and I also got the message that <clears throat> somebody thinks that I'm using have the gifts and living the life that they're supposed to have and all I can say to that is that my life's not very glamorous so but I am very thankful for my children and my friends and what I have But you're projecting, not every of you are watching this, some of you are just witnessing, but this is my only way of communication. You're projecting onto me because what is for me is for me and what is for you is for you. And if it is truly in alignment for you, then it will come. There are plenty of things in my life that I that are in my soul's plan that have not come to pass yet. I think the core of it is knowing that there's no actual deserving of it other than we are a part of creation. That's how I opened my gifts was that I accepted that God loves us all unconditionally. That's it. I have an interesting path, but we all do. Even those who think they're earth natives, they're not really. <coughs> and sometimes the obsession goes the other way. Sometimes people obsess. And they think that somebody is perfect or perfect for them or that they know how to look after somebody or they know what's best for somebody else and the fact is only the person living the life can actually know that sometimes honorable intentions can get hijacked and become obsessive and you all need to discern how that fits into your life which side of the coin you might be on it may even be just witnessing clients or other people in your life going through that sort of thing and I think really just try and understand not just with your brain with your heart engaged research like look into psychology see what see what resonates like truly in your heart what resonates and if you don't <clears throat> at least have the intention that you are heart based and of the light then I can't help you it's not our jobs to save you you save yourself just like I saved myself I'm so thankful for the, the challenges and the the, the being The storm's clearing for all the challenges and for the um, beings that have aided me in the positive side or has come to play as a negative and it's not fun when we're in it sometimes but I do my best to take responsibility for myself and to forgive other and self and God because sometimes I'm like, why? 
I'm human. We all go through these things. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to do a separate video reading from the guidebook for this. Um, for just that simple message. Well, maybe. Who knows? I might read along for hours depending on what spirit wants. Um... I just heard, don't mind if I do. <laughs> um, but this card's about being careful of what you speak. Your spelling, your spell work. You may not be doing actual voodoo. You may not actually be throwing someone under a bus or blowing grenades up. But what you're speaking and spreading about a person counts. And yes, it might attack and erode their energies for a bit, but God will never let that happen for long. It's testing you. And we all do it. I complain. My goodness, of course I do. And especially if I'm around people who are complainers, I end up, like, contracting it. <laughs> and so, yeah, I also want to acknowledge an entity that... Um, attached itself to a spiritual group that I was in. Uh, it's been quite nasty, really hard to shake off. Um, but the only way I can navigate through it is through my heart. That's the only part that I can't penetrate. You sit in your mind, you can be just... Yeah, I'm seeing like I'm seeing like a child like moving pieces on a board erratically. Like you can ju you just are you finding yourself erratic? Because I'm starting to feel erratic. Like I, I can't think straight, and it's chaos, and that, and I know it's not me. It's spirit just give me a taste. Because <clears throat> I've been there. And don't be afraid. Everything's working out for us. And if you don't believe in spirits and stuff, I'm not sure why you're still watching. <laughs> um, but welcome anyway. Um, you'll need to be navigating your own ship. You'll need to be Taking responsibility for yourself if you feel stuck uh, where you live or in the job that you have or, you know, like you, you know, you're the one who's doing everything for everyone all the time and they expect it from you now. You started it, you need to finish it. You don't have to be all abrupt about it. You can gently decline things. You can um, look within yourself and find out what job you want to do figure out how you want to get there and start i don't care how old you are if you're still at working age well you still got time to do what you want to do take responsibility in your relationships not for the other person you cannot control them Take responsibility for yourself. Know thyself. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm also hearing Hecate. Somebody I don't work with, but all gods, all gods array, right? And what's this? This is standing out to me. Oh, oh, look, it's another pink angel. Look, a confirmation. It's not just me putting the symbol of the loving angel there, it's spirit as well. She's got a broken wing. been strung up on a pole 
the high cell switch and over. And since wings are just analogies, she can still fly. Choose to forgive like Christ was said to do on the cross. If you can't do it for the other person, do it for yourself. My God, have mercy on yourself. I can feel you. And I just heard, don't feel sorry for me. I do. I do. I have compassion because I've been there. And we're never done. It's never finished. Creation is infinite. But you must know that if you choose to opt out, you... If you choose to fall on your sword, you will have to come back and do this all over again. That is my belief. That is my memory. It's up to you what you do with your life, but I will never, ever, ever condone that. I know what it is to lose loved ones and not even the closest ones to suicide and it's not okay to treat the people who love you that way and it is never true that you are not loved it's, it's an illusion, it's a falseness to create misery I can only suggest that you have compassion for yourself because if you don't have compassion for yourself you can't have compassion for anybody else not really because that kind of compassion is actually masking trying to show how good you are trying to prove how good you are and then eventually you're going to snap Where's my reward? Why aren't these people worshipping me? Just the word worship makes me feel sick. Love. Love your soul, love your body, love your creator. And if you don't believe in that, Find something to love, but do not obsess. Hold them as a North Star in your heart, knowing that it's actually yourself that you see in them. Enough. Enough. It is done. <laughs>